bills uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how do you get money and there's a couple different ways you can get money you can do odd jobs and earn it uh, maybe for your mom and dad or maybe your neighbor rake their leaves or something uh, you can borrow it maybe from your brother and sister you can get it maybe in a Christmas card or a birthday card as a special gift um, or you can steal it, which we wouldn't recommend you doing that option. You might be in some serious trouble if you do that. But uh, those are the ways you can get money. Um, but this is my money. I get to decide what I do with it. Uh, I have a couple options. I can save it. I can put it in the bank in my savings account. Or I can spend it. Um, or I could give it away. That's what I could do. Let's see. If I was going to give it away, who would I give it to? Three dollar bills. Let's see. Oh, I could give one to Jesse. I could give one to Derek, and I could give one to Colton. There. Just give it to him. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Um, God's grace is a lot like this money. It has great value, but the only difference is with God's grace, you can't earn it. In fact, in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, it says that it is a gift from God. And if you were to work for it, then we could take credit for it and, and that's just not how God's grace works. Grace is simply is just getting something nice even though you don't deserve it. Maybe Jesse and Derek and Colton don't deserve the money, but I'm going to give it to them. Just like we don't deserve God's grace, but he gives it to us freely. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for each of these children, and we are so excited to get back together and worship as a family, a church family, and we hope that comes soon. We thank you, Father, for the gift of grace that you give us each day, and thank you for renewing that every morning. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. <music> 